of course things will change. When a, a parliament reassembles after an election, they, like any organisation, take some time to sort themselves out. This is a great opportunity for us. You remember Roosevelt was approached by one of his advisors and asked for a particular policy to be instituted. Well, Roosevelt replied, look, I'm sympathetic, but you have to make me do it. And that's our circumstance. <laughs> As the parliament forms and finds its feet after the election, then it's a time for us to make our presence felt very strongly. And also in a fresh parliament, they have a lot of room to move. You know, parliamentarians, I speak to many of them, they don't want this hanging around their neck like an albatross. They want to be able to say to people when they travel overseas that they look after Australians. They repaired the problem of Julian Assange's persecution. They want to be able to say that. They want to be able to, to be reminded by the president of Azerbaijan in some sort of trade consultation, reminded by him that, you know, what about Assange? He's morally destroyed, physically destroyed. What are you doing about that? We have no leverage while ever, in negotiations while ever, Julian is in the circumstance that he is and that the continuation of a policy which might merely be acquiescence over the unfolding of time becomes complicity. It's inescapable and cruel and demotes ourselves, then we can fix it. Can we talk about your contact with Julian through his childhood? It's part of the story. I think, it isn't, isn't it? part of the story. Yeah. The story is that, I, you know, I'm attempting in my own modest way yeah to get Julian out of the ship. Julian Assange is the hero of our time. He was the darling of the left. All of a sudden, he's a puppet of Russia. My name is John Shipton. I'm Julian Assange's yeah, father. WikiLeaks found that Julian Assange has been arrested. One of the most notorious and controversial figures in custody. Assange will remain behind bars until that extradition hearing, which has been set down for the end of February. I urge the Department of Justice to drop the charges. The maximum jail sentence of 175 years. Because he published the truth. How does it feel to be the father of such a controversial figure, somebody who's not known around the world? Was that him on the phone before? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What are you talking about on a, on a kind of regular basis? If Julian is extradited to the United States to face these charges, he will be the first, but not the last. What are your worst fears? That it just collapses under the strain. It looks as though what journalists do for a living is seen to be a criminal act. Oh, yeah, no. Shit, keep it up, man. Thank you. I wish I had your energy. I really do. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I mean, I'm fucking doing now. Why do you think there's not a great public love and support? This is really a truly a good question. What's at stake? If he goes down, so will journalism. But if people walked away from this film understanding you, how would you feel about that? We're here, and this has only come about because we have a child in the ship, mm. and we want to get him out. <laughs>